Submission grappling match ready to get underway. It is Chris Beast Boy Barnett against former UFC title challenger Yoel Romero. Romero sheds the t-shirt. Barnett doesn't. And it's not a rash guard. It's just plain old yeah, t-shirt. Plain old t-shirt. I wouldn't be surprised if Yoel Romero picks Barnett up. I would not be surprised. Just like lift some. That could be terrifying. Yeah. Romero. It'd be impressive. It would be. Romero, a true world-class wrestler, multiple-time world and Pan Am champion. Mentioned a silver medalist in the 2000 Sydney Games. Barnett doing uh, a little bit of the rope run. Barnett trying to have some fun. It doesn't look like... Um... That's Huggy Bear right there. <laughs> that's not Beast Boy, that's Huggy Bear. Yeah, that's Huggy Bear. That's, right. that's Huggy Bear right there. But Romero doesn't look to be playing as much as he does. <laughs> Huggy Bear. He doesn't. It's like he didn't come out here to play. I don't think he got the memo. I don't think Romero ever comes out to play. Not in competition. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, when you talk about, you know, an Olympic silver medalist, he's, he doesn't know anything different than just to win, play, you know, compete to win. Another thing about Romero, 42 years old, like, he's still an elite level competitor. Like, his window for being an athlete seems to be endless. Yeah, which is kind of embarrassing for me because I'm 42 <laughs> and I'm always like. <laughs> Nicely done there by Romero. Nice it's top position. Guess, top position. Looked like Barnett was maybe trying to think about a Kimura or isolating that left arm of Romero, but Romero now on the back here of Barnett. Yeah, that was a mistake for well. Barnett, I think, feels if he gets a base underneath him, he can get back to his feet, but. Yeah. I mean, a, I, I can't imagine. I don't know what his guard play is like, but. Rolling nice through there. You see, there's a big size advantage here for Chris Barnett. And, and the difference is for Barnett, generally when there's a size advantage like this, it means that the bigger man isn't necessarily the athlete of the smaller man. And I'm not saying that Chris Barnett is the athlete that Yoel Romero is, but he's not a typical guy that weighs 280 pounds. No, no, no. He's a much better athlete than many people will give him credit for. And... And that's why I think this match is so intriguing because he is such a great athlete. And when you see him, you don't realize it until you watch him move and watch some of the things that he's capable of doing. It's a very long 10 minute round here. And while the pace may slow at times, you, you would look at someone like Chris Barnett and go, okay, well, he's got limited life in the gas tank. He can go for 10 minutes. Oh yeah, yeah. I've never, he's, I don't know if he's ever been tired of the fight. I mean, he's just, He's, he's so good at, at main, managing his energy and having fun and just keeping it moving. Gives up his back again, does Barnett. He goes belly down and Romero can't really get his hooks in when he does that. Yoel needs to sort of figure out what his attack is here. Now Barnett with a base underneath him trying to stand back up and Yoel drags that leg out. Ooh, that was... That, that looked almost painful. But again, uh, with Chris Barnett being as flexible as he is, Again, it's not something you normally see from a big guy like that. It was nothing for him. Side control now for Romero, trying to frame up maybe that Kimura on the left arm. He, might he definitely has this, it. Yeah. Does he need to step over the head? He might be he able to finish to it here. You see Barnett's hand ready to tap. Barnett tap. tap. There you go. Wise move yeah. by Chris Barnett. He doesn't get hurt. Yoel Romero gets the victory. Fun fight. Yeah, very. You know, I like the grappling match. Yeah. Our referee, Trey Aldor, calls a halt at about 3.54. Declare your winner by submission due to a Kimura. Yoel, soldier of God, rule!